y'all doing this? It's not as easy as it looks. So say we get bake. Well, I know y'all been married. But... Hey y'all and welcome back to my Nessa with me part two. Please excuse my congestion. This is why I did not feel like doing any other videos like days ago. Like I made clips, but I did not feel like editing the video. 
and posting it because I was just going through it. However, I am feeling better. All glory to God. And I honestly want to feel better before she gets here. And speaking of her getting here, I am one centimeter dilated. But I know, I know, I know, I know. They said that with one centimeter, you can never know. You could be one centimeter for some days, weeks, months, etc. And I have a doctor's appointment. Is it Tuesday? I think it's Tuesday. The 10th? Yeah, I think it's Tuesday. I have an appointment this Tuesday. And, um, I was honestly hoping to go in. For Tuesday on the 10th, today is the 8th. Um, I'm just ready to get in that hospital and come out with a baby at this point. I'm ready to see my daughter. And, like, I'm just ready for the whole, you know, the aftermath. I'm ready to get my body back. I'm tired of the swelling. My hands are fat, feet fat, face fat, etc. Like, it's just so much new stuff going on in my body. Like, I have moles, like, popping up. I've never had a mole above my eyebrow. Like... <laughs> I have so much stuff just popping up on my body that never was there. <laughs> so I'm just over this whole pregnancy thing because pregnancy really does change you. And like, I'm just ready to at least be back at a normal state again. So bump update, I am currently 38 weeks. I'll be 39 weeks tomorrow. Um. So yeah, I'm definitely, definitely at the tail end. I feel lots more pressure in my pelvic area my pelvic bone etc all of it sore tailbone and the back sore um I, I have been having contractions but it's not to where like okay yeah it's time for labor and i'm gonna be honest i tried the little midwife remedies and stuff raspberry tea i'm not doing that castor oil junk because i'm not trying to be on the toilet i have did castor oil before before pregnancy and it had me on the toilet for like weeks so that's why i'm not i'm personally not messing with no castor oil but the raspberry tea i did try did not work um at this point she being stubborn and she just gonna come when she come we did do the belly cast as you guys could see i even let it dry on me for two hours i fell asleep in it but like when i took it off it was all mushy still and i'm like just i did it twice too just to make sure if we did it right and it still did the same thing so i just said throw it away it's just making it just it's just mess so like keeping mess i i just can't afford to keep no mess right now no <laughs> <laughs> just keep it unnecessary junk but the uh the process of making it was fun i really did enjoy the process of like rubbing it on my belly and stuff and actually get to see like the imprint of my belly so at least i got to experience it so i was really happy about that i got me some new glasses because this was on my list as well uh for the hospital list i wanted an extra pair of glasses as well so yeah, I got me some new glasses. Calvin said that he likes these on me because it gives mother, but honestly, it's giving teacher. <laughs> I'm a substitute teacher as well. So that's why I love them as well. I love the whole cat eye look. It just gives, isn't Miss Frizzle? <laughs> I don't know. I don't even think Miss Frizzle wore glasses, but it's, it's definitely giving teacher vibes though. So all of our stuff is packed, her stuff packed, our stuff packed. We got everything that we need. All her stuff is ready for afterwards as well. Her rocker is set up. Really trying to get a baby bassinet. Um, we should be getting that sometime this week. If not, like, my mom or someone going to grab it from the store while I'm in the hospital or whatever. Because I honestly don't know when I'm going to go in. I have been, like I said, I have been feeling back-to-back -back contractions. But it's, like, very irregular. But I do have my painful contractions, I do. And I honestly think that I have personally dilated from one centimeter. I don't know just yet because I'm not checking myself. And I haven't been back to be checked, but I'll give it like, I'm at a good two, two and a half, three. Because the way that I was feeling yesterday night, I honestly do think that, you know, just yesterday in general because yesterday was my cousin's baby shower and i was walking all day helping out and stuff so uh yeah honestly i do feel like i could have moved up a centimeter and a half so um we'll just see if i make it to my doctor's appointment on the 10th then i'll have them to check me and we'll just see from there and i'll give you guys a update in my next vlog which is me trying to induce my labor and actually have my labor and delivery video. 
So both of those we put together. So I'm, me trying to induce and actually having her in the delivery video and stuff that's gonna be put together. So I'm in the I'm in the process of making that one now as well. So I have been doing clips and stuff for that. But I wanted to get this one out the way before uh she actually got here and I started those other videos. So this video can be posted. But my aunt did get her some cute stuff, the cutest stuff. She got a little baby bonnet, y'all. Shout out to my auntie. Thank you so much. I am very appreciative. My aunt is the one who got her the rocker that's in the thumbnail. This that we set up. My aunt got her that and got her these cute clothes. This is my favorite one right here because of what it says. <laughs> Hold on, let me show y'all. It says, I get my attitude from, well, pretty much all the women I'm related to. <laughs> This is my favorite one because it is so funny because, I mean, it's relatable. But she got her a lot of cute stuff. I'm so thankful for it. It's a lot of stuff, so I don't want this to be a long vlog. I want this to be quick, you know, just, you know, getting it out the way because I'm, you know, I just wanted to make, I just want to make my vlogs like short and simple. I mean, I could do long vlogs as well, but like. Until I get me some better equipment, <clears throat> as far as a computer, phone, and actual vlog camera, because these wait times trying to upload videos, I could already have a video done, and it takes like two days just to upload a video. So I got to keep them short, simple, and cute <laughs> at the moment until I upgrade my uh my filming, my filming equipment. My aunt also got her this. That's when I start carrying her on the hip and stuff. Like, let's just say we go to the zoo. You put this part around your waist and then I'm pretty sure I can insert a picture. You sit the baby on your hip, but they're sitting inside the thing on the side, which is really cute. Very thankful for it. My Nana got her these books. Uh, you're my little love bug. Jesus loves the little children and Jesus loves me. It plays music. Each of them plays music. I didn't listen to this one. You cut it on in the back. And you press the button. Oh. It's... Okay, so it sings the song. It sings the song as it goes with the, uh, the book. But I'm going to definitely read these to her. And you can also insert her picture right there. and put her little picture in there. <laughs> these are too cute, though. I'm just ready for her to get here. Like, I'm so impatient at the moment. I'm just really happy, though. But I also definitely want to give a shout out to Urkel because she hooked my baby up. <laughs> she got her the uh, play pin. And she also got some toys over there. Uh, Right there. It comes with the, uh, the balls for the ball pit, that thing. And also a little walker toy as well. And she also got her the little, I'll insert a picture, a clip of that. Also, a little bracelet bangle in it is so freaking adorable. So, shout out to you, Raquel. Thank you. And, um, <clears throat> that's the end of this video. Like I said, I didn't want to make this long. I am about to try to induce this labor because I am tired of being pregnant. Like, like I've said before, <sighs> I'm just ready to be back to normal again. Like, uh, no indigestion, no heartburn, no nothing. Like, I'm just... I'm just over it all. I did enjoy the process of it, not having a period for X amount of time, but I wouldn't do it this way again. I'll just, you know, <laughs> I'm honestly be happy to know that I'm gonna have it again. But however, they said that, you know, once you breastfeed, you could go like without your period for up to two years. So I'd rather do it that way, like breastfeeding and then like your period goes away, but I'm going to give this whole pregnancy stuff a minute, of course. <laughs> a good little minute. <laughs> no! 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 Enjoy Celia and yeah, her growing process. But right now, I am over it. I am over it. I am over it. But all glory to God. And I am grateful that I can carry a child in general. Like, able to, you know, handle being able to carry a child and stuff like that with no complications at all. I'm very grateful for that. 
but I am ready to see my baby. <laughs> I really am. So, um, that's it, y'all. I'm gonna keep you guys updated as far as in the other video, and that's trying to induce this freaking labor, try to get her out as quick as she can. Let me stop bothering this girl. <laughs> she probably ain't not listening to me like, that's why I'm gonna stay a little bit longer. <laughs> but yeah, y'all just don't understand. I keep looking at her ultrasound pictures, her little 5D ultrasound pictures, and I am just I'm obsessed. <laughs> I cannot wait to meet her. So like, I'm just so ready to meet her so bad. Like she just don't understand this this is my baby <laughs> like this is my baby my first baby she just don't understand just yet but i am in love but um yeah that's the end of this vlog y'all like i said i'm gonna keep y'all updated far as in this inducing and when this labor and delivery gonna start so i'm gonna see y'all in the next video so yeah thank you for stopping by don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Deuces.